Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and today we have a very quick review of the LEGO Marvel Avengers Infinity Saga Captain America and Black Widow motorcycles from Age of Ultron. This includes a brand new Black Widow Age of Ultron minifigure, which is really cool. I can't wait to showcase it for all of you, so let's go. Okay, so here we have set number 76260. This is Black Widow and Captain America Motorcycles. It retails for 16 euros, and at the time of this recording, we do not have the price in the US yet, but I would imagine it's around 15 to 16 dollars. It comes with two minifigures, one of which is new and exclusive to the set so far, that is the Age of Ultron version of Black Widow, whereas the Age of Ultron version of Captain America was introduced in 2021 for the Captain America and Hydra Face Off 4 Plus set for the Infinity Saga. This is a pretty nice and notable set because for the first time in what feels like a while, we are getting a two-pack motorcycle bike chase that is not a 4 plus style build. Typically, when LEGO does stuff like this, especially nowadays, they'll do a couple of motorcycles or just one, and it's a 4 plus build, and we don't get a ton of different types of designs or different detailing for the bikes themselves. But for this set, we actually get a pretty nice and detailed build for each one of the motorcycles themed around these specific characters, so I'm really excited to showcase that. But first, let's talk about the minifigures. So I'm going to set the motorcycles aside for now and just zoom in closer on the minifigures themselves. So the first one that is probably not super interesting to folks watching this review, especially if you already own or have seen this minifigure before, is the Captain America figure. He is in his Age of Ultron outfit, which is a pretty standard outfit for him to have. It is using just the same exact shield that we have seen in the past, but I do like how this is a really nice representation of the outfit in the movie. He is using the Endgame style of helmet, which is a good piece to get that is fully molded that they've been using for Captain America. Nothing really wrong about this figure. Dual molded boots would have been nice, but what is really nice is that at LEGO official brand stores in the build a minifigure stations, they have dual molded dark blue and dark brown boots, which is what I've been using to upgrade all of my Captain America figures, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. What is special about the set though is that one thing I really love that they did, and sometimes they do it, they're pretty inconsistent as to whether or not they do this, but they also have included a hairpiece for Captain America, which is really nice. I love it when LEGO does stuff like this, when they have characters either wearing a helmet or a hairpiece. It is something that doesn't cost them a lot of money to do, just to include a hairpiece in a set, but it definitely does elevate it and make it feel a lot more special to actually have the character have a hairpiece, which is something I really do like. And technically, that means that this figure is unique, at least in this configuration, because we've never gotten him with the hairpiece before in a set for this particular outfit. So that's one thing I really do appreciate. You do have the helmet if you want to use it, but I actually like displaying him with the hairpiece, especially because I have so many other Captain America figures with the helmets on, this is just something really nice. Black Widow, on the other hand, is probably one of my favorite versions of the character that we've gotten so far. The Age of Ultron outfit is fully refined in this particular version of the minifigure. Obviously, we got her in an Age of Ultron outfit when the movie first came out, but that one was based off of concept art, which meant it wasn't that accurate and there was a lot of inconsistencies in it. This is honestly really cool because she is using a gunmetal gray torso, which is really special and has that metallic sheen to it, which feels very unique. Really great printing on the legs that continues downwards. You can look at the back and that is also done really well. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the way they pulled off this minifigure. It is finally an accurate outfit for Black Widow for this version of the movies, especially because it has been years since we've gotten Age of Ultron sets that feature Black Widow. We finally have an accurate outfit, which is really nice. She is just using the standard headpiece, which has two different expressions. They use this same headpiece on a lot of different female superhero characters, which is a little bit... I mean, it's something that LEGO does a lot, is they just use the same headpieces whatsoever. And right now she is armed with the double-barreled Alien Conquest Blaster from 2011, but you also have her weapons on the side of the bike here if you want to use the energy batons. Speaking of the bikes themselves, I think it's now time to actually be able to take a closer look at each one of the bikes. You start off by building Captain America's bike, so that's where the one we're going to start out with. There's nothing super crazy going on here. The most notable thing is that they are using the new The Batman Movie type of pieces for the motorcycle themselves. These are introduced for the Batman sets, but they use them on motorcycles here and there all throughout different themes, and I think it is a really good piece to use for motorcycles. It allows the wheels to really get spun up very fast. You can roll this around the ground in a very satisfying manner, which is really nice. But my favorite thing about this bike is what was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one, 
this piece right here is printed. This is a new print on the 1x2 relatively new curved panel tile piece, which is very nice. It is fully printed for motorcycles, and I certainly hope they use this in many, many other sets because it is basically the perfect speed dial or speed dashboard for a motorcycle or even a car-like build. So, I really like it. He is going 92 miles per hour. He is racing along, but it is just a really cool thing to see that being a print. It is a brand new print for the set, but I'm sure they're going to include it in other sets in the future. Otherwise, the motorcycle is fairly standard, and one thing I do really like is that you have a spot to actually include Cap's shield on the front of the bike. Just like he had in the movie, he mounted his shield on the front of the bike to allow it to take any enemy hits and just bounce off. Is it a little bit oversized? No, it's, it's a lot oversized. But it is a LEGO motorcycle set that is aimed towards younger kids, and I do like it for what it is. I do like the amount of details on the bike itself. Moving onwards to Black Widow's bike, I think I actually kind of like the shaping of this one more than Captain America's. I just really like how they have a hinge on the front which really makes it feel like it has a bit more of a distinct silhouette. You of course have those wheels that you can roll around like so. It is a very similar design. They incorporate almost the same exact style of stud shooter on the side and then the curved piece on the top, but they're just built ever so slightly differently just to make them feel that much more distinct. Overall, I think this is a really nice two-pack set. I'm sure a lot of people will be buying this set for the new Black Widow minifigure, which is a really nice one to get. Big fan of the way that minifigure turned out. And finally, we can talk a little bit about price. So this is $16, or I guess 16 euros. We don't know the dollar price yet. By the time this video comes out, we probably will know. But I honestly feel that 16 is a little bit high for what you get. This feels like a $10 set. Maybe, I mean, Lego's doing some funky things with prices. Maybe $11, but that is that is a stretch. $11 is a stretch for this. $16 feels way too high for what you get, unfortunately. And I, I, I do feel like a lot of my videos recently have been saying that Lego is overpriced, but I will say it how it is, and I will call it how I see it. I do feel like this is a little bit on the pricey side, given that what you get are just two pretty small clone builds of motorcycles for the most part. One good mini, I mean, two good minifigures. Hairpiece, great to get. This is a really solid minifigure, but they feel just a little bit over polybag builds. Like, I feel like maybe, like, this is, this is one polybag, this is one polybag, and I definitely feel that 16 for the two-pack feels a bit high for me. If this was $12, fine. 13, okay. 14, eh. 15, no. 16, definitely not just in terms of what you get, but I do understand that LEGO is trying to do some price increases for this year. I'm curious how that is working out for them. Clearly, people are continuing to buy LEGO sets and continuing to keep the brand popular, which is always good because I'd rather LEGO be popular and be a little overpriced than not be around at all, but I do feel like this is just potentially a bit too much for what you are actually getting in the box, but that's just how I feel. Do let me know in the comments what you think of this set, what you think of the price, and what you think of the brand new minifigure. It's a quick review for this one because it is a smaller set, but thanks so much for tuning in. All right, and with that, we have summed up our look at the brand new Black Widow and Captain America motorcycle set, retailing for around $16 to $18. We're not quite sure what yet. Feels a bit steep to me, but it is still a nice set to get to celebrate the Age of Ultron movie. Thank you so much for tuning in to Duck Bricks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming away very soon, and bye for now.